I'm doing a voiceover again and you probably think I'm crazy for doing this again but that was really fun. So um, yeah, I'm just doing my makeup. So right now I'm applying the Witch uh, Skin Clearing Primer. I really, really like it. It's like Witch the Skincare brand and it's just like a primer but I don't know. I think it really like helps for like smoothing out your skin and stuff. Okay, so now I'm applying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and I think it's in the color 2N, and I'm using this brush I got from Sephora, it's like, um, I'm not sure what it's called, it's like a mineral brush or something, but I use it for like everything, it's like so good, so yeah, I use it for foundation at the moment, and it's kind of like, it's not quite a stippling brush, I kind of use it to like rub it in, but it makes it look really like blended in, if that makes sense, so. Okay, so now I'm taking this powder and it's from CoverGirl and I'm using a matte kabuki. But normally I use this powder from Seventeen. It's called like the Shine a something powder. It's like a loose powder but I ran out of it. So I need to buy it again but for now I'm just finishing that up. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm taking the Revlon uh, like four color palette in the color, I think it's like Coffee Bean or something. And I'm taking the second lightest color. And I'm using a MAC 239 brush and I'm just filling in my eyebrows. It's like a really, really, really natural color, so... Okay. <laughs> but it's just like an eyeshadow, it's not actually like an eyebrow palette thing. But yeah, if you have any good like eyebrow suggestions for like those powder palettes that you can get, let me know because I'm probably going to use that color up pretty quickly, so yeah. So now I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot in Rubenesque and I'm just applying that really lightly all over my lids. Okay, next I'm taking this palette, I didn't really show that properly, and it's from NYX. I don't know if they still have it, I got it for my birthday and it's, it's called a cashmere palette, I don't really know. I'm taking the darkest color with like a normal eyeliner brush and it's kind of like an off black color and then I'm taking this like kind of like bronzy gold color in a second I haven't done that yet and I'm applying it under my eyes like on my lower lash line and like the technique I use I kind of like smudge it out using the brush I, I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm kind of applying it and then like dragging it up using the brush Okay, next I'm applying mascara, and I actually just broke my eyelash curler, so normally I would apply, um, no, use my eyelash curler first, but I broke it, so, um, I'm taking the Benefit Their Real Mascara, it is so good, oh my gosh, and it's in the color black, and I'm just applying that on my eyelashes, <laughs> and yeah, it takes me a while to do mascara.
is the next unhealing blush and this is the MAC blush in the color Well Dressed. It's just like a normal baby pink and I'm taking the Body Shop blush brush and I'm just applying that lightly on my cheeks. And then I'm taking the e.l.f. Mineral, no, what, I can read that, the contouring palette thing and I'm using the same blush, brush even, <laughs> and I'm just contouring my cheeks with that. Now I'm just making sure that the eyeliner is still like smudgy. <laughs> so yeah, and I think that's it. Oh no, not yet. Okay. So now I'm applying lipstick, and this is Rimmel in the color 180 Vintage Pink, and I'm just dabbing that onto my lips. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any requests, leave them in the comments, and what are we doing? Anyways, I'll see you in my next video.